गुड मॉर्निंग वेरी वन फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू डूइंग ओके वील स्टार्ट द टूडे क्लास विथ दिस रैंक एंड सैकल दट इज अ क्लोज फीड वाटर हीटर्स इन द लास्ट क्लास वी आर डिस्कस विद ओपन फीड वाटर हीटर्स राइट बट देर इज सर्टन डिसएडवांटेज इन इन ओपन फीड वाटर राइट इफ यू यूज देर वी नीड टू यूज मल्टीपल फॉर गेट फॉर इन ऑर्डर टू ब्रिंग द एफिशियंसी मोर वी हैव टू यूज मेनी पम्प्स ओके सो इन ऑर्डर टू overcome that difficulty okay the handling of all that pumps is very difficult so for that we will use this closed feed water heaters and how the schematically look to this we will see in the today's class and before starting this session i request i would like to request you guys please subscribe the channel hit the like button and share with your friends okay let me commence the class today's class with this closed water see what i have discussed why there is a okay what the advent in the closed feed water heater right close the we will see the closed feed water heaters closed feed water heaters why these heaters are used see using actually there is a disadvantage of using open feed water heaters required required set of extra pumps set of extra pumps right which made which makes which makes layout of the plant very complex right layout of the plant very complex right so to overcome so to overcome this difficulty so to overcome this digital day closed the free water heating system is used closed the to overcome this difficulty closed the free water heaters are used You understood this? What is the advantage of this using closed feed water heating? Now we will see the layout of this closed water feed water. See how this looks like. See as usual. Uh, <clears throat> this is here. There is a pump, right? From the pump, it will goes to the boiler. Before going to the boiler, okay? There is one mixing chamber here, okay? From this. it will goes to the boiler okay and here see here the heat is coming from okay i will extract the uh, the some amount of steam from that turbine right for regeneration purposes okay this is at the intermediate stage of the turbine not at exactly okay at the any intermediate stage right see here this is how it, the works means here okay this is a pump and again here there is a open feed water heater one open feed water is required anyhow right but this is see this is a closed feed water heater here right this is two and okay this i will take in this okay see here i will take the x amount of steam in this i will take y amount of steam and again there is one more Amount of steam, okay, for the other heater, right? And then this I will send to the condenser. This is a condenser, okay. See, there is the expansion hall is also in between this. See here, from this this will goes to here. It will expand here, okay. The expansion hall is here, right? This is how. 
who are getting this is the turbine work right from and uh, right here this is how the schematic diagram looks like okay this is a pump again here it is pumping and this is going to here okay this is a closer feed heat water uh, number one this is pump number one and this is pump number two okay and see from here the this is the boiler from the boiler there is the entrance to the steam into the this turbine right this is a turbine this is boiler okay you understood this is how the schematic diagram looks like right here suppose z amount of steam will goes to the first closed feed water heater right i think you understood this this is not that much difficult right okay now uh, we will see see the remaining amount that is 1 minus x minus y minus z amount will be entered in this because see the x amount of the steam i am taking outside here suppose 1 kg of the steam is coming inside this then from that the x is will leave to the feed water to the z will leave to the feed water uh, uh, close the feed water heat, uh, feed heater or um, water it is not heater water heater wh let me correct this Yes, this is called water heater WH. WH2, right? Water heater. This is the water heater. Okay. One. Now, if I draw, <coughs> see, this is what called uh, the de aerator. Okay. Means air remover. This is called de aerator or air remover okay uh, now see in the ts diagram how it looks like let me show you see if i draw a ts diagram for this okay the ts diagram let me in this this is how the dome right here one two this is one to two right from two to again it goes to uh, from two to where it is going okay it is at okay see here it is out going three right and again from here this is my three point okay the point three from three point again it is going it is not the inclined line let me draw it straight okay straight right again it is going here okay again this is my four point where is the four yes this is my four point right again like this right like this this is four this is five and this is my six point okay this is how it is going okay comes up to down here right see here the x amount of steam will take here right again there is the y amount of steam will take here and the z amount of steam steam will take here means this is x this is y and this is z right and the remaining or that is 1 minus x minus y minus z amount of steam will come here this point will be the 11th point right so this is what 6 then 7 then 8 9 10 okay i think this is somewhat uh, uh, difficult but it will ask in the engineering service exam right so the gate students no need of worry of this okay you just understood what the happening in this regeneration okay this is how the cycle looks like 
okay guys so you need not worry about that this water water treatment but just if a simple question comes from this then you can easily solve this that's why i try to explain here see here how the analysis of this will take place see in the closed feed water heater the it's a simple analysis see in the closed feed water heater that is in two right in the two what is happening see uh, this is what the my sixth point right the steam is going up from here okay and here the heat is going from this two point to this point right uh, this point my entropy is which is in that is at h8 right so it is at 12 point okay the point in the exam is they are given okay it is at for you means see if i write the steady flow energy equation for this okay in order to find uh, this x amount of x so i can write this x right the x amount is coming here right so x yes Eight minus h twelve, right? Which is equal to the one total amount is coming here. That is one. Okay, one kg of that is h six minus h five. Okay, this is how you can do the analysis, right? The simple question asked from this. If they asked, they will not ask very complicated question on this. Okay, the simple question will come. Allah, more the times they will ask the. Feed uh, the close. What is what is the advantages of this feed water, uh, feed water heater? Okay, close the feed water over the open feed water. That thing they will ask. Okay, so you should answer this. Okay, see here. Advantages of regeneration. Please make the advantages. Advantages of regeneration. Okay. See here the efficiency of the cycle increases, right? Efficiency, which is the efficiency of cycle cycle increases, right? And what are the disadvantage of this? Disadvantages of regeneration. The disadvantages are here. The disadvantage are number of number of additional additional machineries are required. Machineries are required. right like pump feed water heater also the additional additional installation cost additional installation cost comes in picture right also uh, turbine size increases turbine size Increases. Why the turbine size increases? See, in the for the closed uh, feed water heater, you have to supply the steam from that right at at x m x at three places. You have to supply. So, in order to do that, the turbine size will be increased. Okay, this is what about all about the closed feed water heaters. Okay, As I have taken this lecture in short because there in the gate. This there will be very less questions. If question comes from this, there are very simple questions will come from this. Okay, so you may do don't make that much difficult this. Okay, guys. Then I think this is what all about the open uh, the closed uh, feed water heaters. Okay, how the regeneration is achieved in the Rankine cycle. That thing we have seen in the today's class. Uh, we'll continue. I think. The Rankine cycle is over now. Uh, the whatever the numerical part asked in the gate, you please solve that numericals. Okay, and if you have any doubts while solving the numericals, put it in the comments. I will explain that numericals. Okay, I will not take the numericals on this. And I try to explain the concepts in a very simple way and simple manner. How much guys you digest that thing? I don't know, but. 
if you like this videos please put in a comment share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channels okay guys thanks for watching have a nice day bye take care